<clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. We are at uh, lesson 22, and we're going to have a look at the whip band. Uh, the whip band is a very interesting technique. Uh, you get your your couple in focus and also incorporate a little bit of movement. This works really well if you are shooting um, inside, you know, uh, in a city where there's a little bit of city lights so or a nice ambient light working at the back. Over here, we just, um, we had to add a little bit of light here at the back just to get the liberation uh, between the background and the foreground and couple. You can do this with your uh, tripod or you can do it handheld. You can make circular motions. Uh, you can do left to right. Uh, whatever's going to float your boat on this, but uh, the main idea is to produce something similar to this. Um, so once you've mastered light, you can basically light up any scene because you understand how your flash, uh, how your flash works. The, the whip band works great at night. So if you want to use it during the day, you will need much stronger lights to get it done. Um, you can also use this on the dance floor with, uh, with on-camera flash. Very exciting and, and, you know, it's so much fun to use your direct flash. Um, uh, you direct flash your subject uh, to freeze them and then uh, slow down your shutter speed to create a little bit of motion to them in the, in the background. Normally, um, you know, we, you would think that you would want to use rear curtain sync, but you don't want to do it. You can do it with, with rear curtain. We use uh, first curtain sync. The problem with rear curtain is um, the moment you start your pan, um, the flash is going to fire uh, at the end of your exposure. So what's going to happen now is you're going to have to plan your, your pan or the movement of your camera to stop. So let's say it's a one second, it's going to go click one and then take the shot, which makes it extremely difficult to get uh, the detail. But if you have your flash fire in the beginning of, um, you know, exposed for the couple in the beginning of your shot and then put the movement, um, then uh, it, it tends to work a lot better and it's easier to get your, uh, your couple in focus then. Um, for static shots, we might do it a little bit different. Uh, we're going to use first curtain sync, like, like I've mentioned. The concept is to have the couple stand static in a scene with some light in the background. You can also add your own light. Um, we added our own flash here at the back. Uh, it could be a building, though. It could be a little bit of lights, uh, street lights, or basic any kind of light behind them to add, um, to add a little bit of motion to the scene when you are freezing the subject much fun to use. Um, if you're shooting a handheld, you would like uh, maybe have to tuck in your elbows a little bit just for support because you need to still have the camera real steady to get it sharp. Uh, right to left, uh, top to bottom, side to side, move it in circles, whatever the pattern is that you want to do. you possibly not going to nail this on the, on the first try. So um, it's important that you do tr keep on trying until you get this, get this right. We'll have a, a look at uh, some of the camera settings in, in just a minute. Um, so the process for this is you're going to take uh, an ambient light image first, you know, expose for your ambient light. After you're happy with the background exposure, then pan the camera to um, to the left and right and see what, what the effect is going to look like. Uh, the main attribute for, for whip pan is a slow shutter speed and normally uh, a shutter of around 1 over 10 to even 1 second will work fantastic to get it to get it done. Um, it will also depend how far you would like your, your trails to go. And it's important to have an idea of what your shot should look like afterward when you plan this as well. Like all other aspects of photography, you need to see what you want to take photos of first and then produce uh, an image and compare it to what you've seen in your mind's eye. Um, um, like I've said, uh, you know, if we have rear curtain sync switched on and we do this on rear curtain, we'll, we'll be able to freeze. Um, we we want to freeze the subject with a flash. Then I need to move my camera into the right place in the composition um, with the subject at the end of the motion. And it makes it real tricky to get that timing just right. And that is why we revert to first uh, using the first curtain because um, I place my composition where I want it. Um, where I want the subject in the frame to be. And once the couple is frozen, then I add the motion afterward, which makes it a lot easier to get your image a little bit sharper. 
So you need to balance your um, you need to balance your ambient light with your flash, like uh, all other flash pro projects that we spoke about uh, previously. And the background need to be either in the same brightness or maybe even a little darker than your subject. So uh, if the, the background is too bright, um, it will pull away the attention from what's happening in the foreground. So your eye will always naturally be drawn to the lightest portion of, uh, of, your, of your image. Um, the practical is going to be really much fun. You guys must please um, read through it, read through your worksheet and remember to do the, the questionnaire right at the end as well. Um, yeah, this is, this is going to be fun, you guys. Um, I've tried to set everything, uh, set everything out as, as usual to keep it as plain and as uh, self-explanatory as, as possible. Um, so just maybe a last tip on this, um, rear curtain sink will let the flash fire when the second curtain closes. First curtain sink will let the flash fire when the first curtain open. And high speed, sink, high speed sink will let the flash fire continually for the duration of both curtains moving across the sensor. So have fun with this and uh, please let us know if there's anything that you are having a hard time with and well, photography related, of course. <laughs> and let's see if we can, uh, we can get this done. Thank you so much for watching and see you at the next module.